I'm proud to be from Lowell. My great-great-grandfather, Winton Wilcox, was a farmer and dairy owner here during the early 20th century. When he was a boy, his father, Reuben Wilcox, was one of the first people to successfully grow alfalfa in Kent County. For the alfalfa to thrive, he brought dirt from Ionia and bushel baskets and spread it across his field. As many of you will recognize, his alfalfa was successful because certain bacteria were present in that soil, converting nitrogen from the air into a usable form in the ground. While I'm impressed with my forefather's entrepreneurial spirit, the symbiotic relationship between a crop and bacteria feels like an appropriate analogy for our experience as students at Lowell High School. You, my classmates, are like a lovely field of mature alfalfa, planted in this community by caring parents and aided by good bacteria in the form of teachers, counselors, and administrators, working as a team to give you just what you needed. The distinction between us and alfalfa, however, is that as individuals, we each needed something different to thrive. For some, R.J. Boudreau was a coach who challenged you to do your best on the mat. For me, he was a counselor who facilitated reaching my academic potential. I can make a comparable argument about my tennis coach, Chris Phillips, who may have helped many of you in the classroom. And not only did our teachers fulfill multiple roles, but they embraced them in ways that exceeded our expectations, often dipping into their own wallets and time. I'm grateful for the coffee and t-shirts from Jeffrey Larson, the candy basket from Steve Campschulte, and the countless evenings Wendy Tenney spent conducting the Fusion Rock Orchestra. The people I just mentioned are not simply motivated by pay. Rather, they value excellence, sharing their passions, and helping others succeed. I also think they love us. I was 13 when I began working with retired math teacher Mike Michaud, who cut me zero slack despite my young age. While he mentored me, I always got the sense that he genuinely cared. I bet that many of you have a similar relationship with a teacher, administrator, staff member, counselor, or coach who you will remember for the rest of your lives. Please be sure to reach out and thank them sooner rather than later. No, there used to be a billboard by the highway. It said that Lowell was the next place to be. This marketing campaign was both clever and prescient. After all, Lowell certainly is the next place to start a business in the Grand Rapids area. And while these new establishments contribute to our community, we're not defined by what we consume. I hope that throughout your life, and wherever you may go, when people ask you where you're from, you don't tell them that you're from the next place to be. Instead, tell them that you're from a small town in Michigan, founded in 1831, where the Grand River and Flat River meet, where people work together to develop academically, athletically, artistically, spiritually, and socially, a place where everyone is given an opportunity to reach their potential. Tell them that you are from the only place to be. You are from Lowell, Michigan, and a Red Arrow for life. Thank you.